What's up, folks, and welcome back today to the channel for a movie review. Now, we're going to be reviewing the film Lockdown, which is going to be dropping on HBO Max January 14th. Um, this film stars Anne Hathaway and uh, Chiatel as Geo4. And, you know, when I saw this chair like instance, like, I want to check this out. Big fan of the two of them. Definitely think the pairing could be very interesting. And you're just talking about uh, the state of the pandemic and how people have been really unique in their filmmaking or either the filmmaking or the plots based on the pandemic. So, you know, with it being called lockdown, seeing the trailer, I was like, you know, this seems interesting. Not to mention the trailer came off very comical to me, something I thought I could really get behind. Well, I, I'm going to say this, like, quite frank. The trailer was very misleading to me because, like, for every part of, like, the film potentially being funny, it just wasn't really funny to me at all. It was, uh, I mean, like, the trailer gave me Corky, but not, you know, it, but in, in in the actual movie, not really, not much of it. Um, it was a drama. It had to do with crime and a love story, I guess you could kind of throw in there one way, shape, or form. Um, but it it truly was surfaced around um, how the lockdown really tested their relationship. And like, there's really nothing funny about that because I mean, these are real things that um, all celebrities and all people, shall I say, I'm just saying celebrities as far as they're being displayed, but all everyone has uh, have had uh, situations of having to really confine with this new way of living. So like, again, there's the interest there with that. I just thought the trailer was kind of misleading as to what movie I was getting. But yes, you got the two of them um, as, you know, the pandemic, the lockdowns really put their relationship to the test. So that involved a lot, a lot of dialogue between the two of them. And at times I felt like <clears throat> some of the dialogue was much more drawn out than I would have liked it to be because this movie was long, 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 long. Um, and I feel like it's because a lot of the dialogue was just very, very long. Like I felt like some scenes went on longer than it should have went, but at the same time, too, it was a slow burn, but there was good acting, as you would expect. The, the pairing was definitely uh, done well. Uh, I will say that the stress, the agony, and all that of the of the lockdown was on display for sure. And also, you know, kind of happened to like again how how everybody had to kind of cope with this new norm uh, because yeah, it takes you down memory lane of like really like the events of the pandemic and really like the like. You know, like the predicament of being in the pandemic, you know, not really understanding, you know, how COVID works or how does it, you know, uh, how is it transmitted, all this other stuff. So you're seeing some people with masks, some people without masks, some people like, wait, should I be wearing masks or not? Um, happened to move to Zoom meetings and and how employment was affected by the pandemic. So you're getting all those type of things where I will say like, you know, the I was nostalgia, but like the feels of of of, of it. Um, definitely takes you back to like, man, we came a long way with everything that's been happening in this film. Definitely taking you back down those steps. Like, man, I remember, you know, when that happened and happened to do that and et cetera, et cetera. Um, even the sanitation process and stuff like that. And people just kind of sorting like how this all is going to work. Um, but yet there was comedy at times and like, and the times that it did, there were crazy moments. And I, I appreciate that. But like, it was a slow burn. It was absolutely a slow burn. It was a, a and and again, this film is um taking place in London, so it was interesting to see the dynamics between what was happening there, vice versa, what was happening here in the states. So, um, but yeah, even with all this happening, the two of them, as the relationship is put to the test, it really ultimately tests them, uh, because they're very desperate and it puts them in desperate times, and um, even in those desperate moments that happened throughout the film it it really provoked desperate conversations that went very long so it's just a lot of conversations that's all that's all happening with that being said because if you've seen the trailer you don't want to talk about here um the moments where the plot involved a level of heightenedcy of of, of of urgency of so on I felt like there was too much conversation in those moments. Like, it's times where, like, things should have been bang, bang, but things was, like, bang, and then a la, 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 bang. So it's like, with some of these events that's happened, didn't truly feel so genuine or even to resonate, or even if you were in those shoes, you would absolutely, absolutely not do it the way how things were handled. I feel like this 
film was driven so much through dialogue that even the events of things, even when there was potential action or just uh, any any suspense that could have been built, it was just drawn out because the dialogue was very, very long. Uh, yeah, there was definitely moments where you're just like, hurry up, hurry up. You got to, got to, got to, go. you know what I mean? You got to get to going. Got to do what you got to do. Um, and with that being said, it's clearly fictitious. Like, there's not even a question of things that happen. There's no way. <laughs> That's what I say. But I guess that's how love story goes. I guess, you know, you just got to just throw in all of that just for the overall sale of the love story. Um, I will say that there was a character, Donald, that had a minimum role in this that I ultimately liked. He, he, he was very charismatic and it really stood out above or I say stood with the two leads at times. And I thought that was a. Uh, I, I, I thought that was worth noting. But yeah, this is a long movie, and even as long as it is, definitely want to stay, stay through through the credit scenes as well. So a couple of little um, added scenes for the film, as if you needed more. But they're they're cool, and they actually complement some of the things that were said uh, within the film. So, but here's my thing. Here's my here's my take with it. If you are a fan of the two of them, then check this out. Um, they absolutely excel as uh, as actors and actresses, and the, the compliment to each other is really well done. But as far as with the story, it's very drawn out. As far as with the lore from the trailer, it's kind of misleading to me. Uh, there will be some, uh, I, I guess, comedy and humor for it, but ultimately, it's just a slow burn. It's a slow burn. But hey, if you got HBO Max, and it's just extra content, so check it out on that notion. And I don't think this is one that you say, I need to get my HBO Max subscription for it it's, i just don't think it was just that great of a film or memorable of a film shall i say but as far as the film structure i thought everything did come together good just the plot just really lacked to me i didn't think there was enough substance in there or interest in there for what it was trying to do so there's that but anyway lockdown january 14th hbo max folks let me know in the comments you thought about it and i'll catch you later for more reviews Big old bell.